Hi, Mark Inman here with a quick tech tip. Double check detector assemblies and reduced pressure detector assemblies both have bypass piping arrangements on them. Most technicians are very well aware of the type 1 bypass, which is the old standard, but not so much about the type 2 bypasses. So I want to go over today a quick overview of those. Now, if you notice on the screen, we're going to go over the definitions, we're going to talk about what the differences are, and then we'll touch on how to test the type 2. So definition, type 1 bypass would be a piping arrangement that bypasses both check valves of the main line assembly. This would utilize a backflow preventer equal to the main line assembly. Now a type 2 bypass would be a piping arrangement that bypasses only the second check of the main line assembly. Now this would utilize a testable single check valve. Now, what's the difference? Well, as far as backflow protections is concerned, there's no difference, right? They both protect the same amount. The Type 2 bypass was originally designed to allow better flow rates through the main line assembly, less pressure loss. Now, the Type 2 bypass arrangement is exactly the same for both the double check valve detector assembly and the reduced pressure detector assembly. Now testing, how do you test it? Always refer back to your local jurisdiction for their testing requirements. But in general, you test the main line assembly normally like you would any assembly. You test the bypass single check like any check valve, either direction of flow test or a differential test. Now, you only want to record one value for the bypass single check, okay? If your test report does not have an indication for it, go ahead and indicate you're testing a double or type two in the remarks column. If you have any further questions on type one or type two bypasses or any repair question, call our technical hotline 1-800-575-9618.